guys, welcome back to Girly Girl Sparkle, and today we're going to be making a perfect size cake. is one egg, one fourth cup of water, and two tablespoons of softened butter. So first I'm gonna add in my egg. And be careful when you're working with eggs because um, you don't want any shell in your cake. Don't want the yolk on the table. Okay, now I'm gonna add in our one cup or one fourth cup of water. And you also want to preheat your oven to 300. All right, add the water. Now we can move these aside because we're not gonna use them. So now we need the two tablespoons of salt in butter. So um, on here it has it how much you need to add. So we'll take our knife and be careful when you're working with a knife. So make sure it's a butter knife for butter. So we'll cut it right at two. Oh, first how about we try to open it in here. Maybe we can cut through, come on. Oh yeah, it actually works. Never done that before. Um, I've actually never cut butter. Okay. So now we're gonna add that in. Try not to get my hands too messy. There we go. Oh no, oh no, it's a little bit done. No. Oh, that would have been bad if you accidentally got that in. Yeah, make sure that all of it's off before you um, say, now we're done, okay. Yeah, all of it's off now. Okay, so now with my messy in hands, I'm gonna wipe these off. I'll wipe these off and then I'll get back to you. All right, so now I got my hands washed off and cleaned and now we're gonna open up our perfect size golden fudge cake. And I like this cake because it actually comes with frosting. So after it's done and cooled, we can add that. <laughs> okay, so it comes with this six inches pan and the frosting. So here's the cake, I think. What is this? Oh, this is the frosting. Sorry. That would have been bad. We accidentally forgot that. And then here is the pie. It looks like that this is yeah chocolate frosting, like on the box it shows. And then this is yellow. Hey. Alright, so our we have this, but we have to get this away. Oh, on here it says bake, cool, and press. So alright, so now we found some scissors to cut this. I would recommend getting scissors or having someone that can open it. So then you don't have a big mess. So we're gonna add this in. Make sure that you get all of it out. And this can fit to two to four people. If you have like normal sizes, if you have it. Mm. Smush the butter. I'm actually getting really good at cracking eggs without no shell. Which is good because if you have shell, then you'll have like weird mess. All right, so okay, let me get this. All right, I'm gonna scrape the edges and then we can move on to the mixer soon. All right, now I'm gonna grab the mixer and it says that you need to set it on like a low or on like one if you have one like us. That's not fancy at all. Okay. 
down to the bottom and on. <laughs> Yeah, that really helps. Cool. All right. Turn it off. Now I'm just gonna set it that over the dip and go like this. So then most of this can hopefully come off. And now we'll start pouring into the pan. Okay, this is hard with one hand because it's hard. Okay, try to spread it out so then the other doesn't go in one spot and get more off of here. Okay. <sighs> when you pour it, make sure, or when you do the, um, Mixing, make sure that you have parent supervision so then you um, don't get hurt. And when you use the oven to bake it, make sure that you have parent supervision. Or a parent helping you. Or a guardian. That was not expected. All right, now I'm gonna try to scoop it and get it in. Cause that's hard. Get some off here. Get it off the edges. And mostly all of ours got like mixed, so make sure that all of your guys' is at home gets in there. Now I already have the baking stuff on me three times. Alright, so now we're going to put on the center of the rack at 300 Fahrenheit for 34 to 39 minutes. And then when the cake is done, we're going to insert a toothpick in the center. If it comes up free without any crumbs, it means it's done. Alright, get this into the oven. All right, so now our, our cake has been in um, in the oven for 34 minutes on 300, and now we have to make our frosting. You can buy frosting um, so then you don't have to make it and just don't use the stuff that came with, or today we're going to be using the stuff that comes with. So first you need one tablespoon of water and four tablespoons spoons of butter so last time we only needed two so now we need um at least two more so now so first you need to only use the butter in the um mix like in the bowl and then you mix it and then we'll see what's next so let's just add in the butter. Hopefully it doesn't break this time like last time. All right, all of it's there. We'll put that to the side. So now that this is in, we have to You need to soften butter with electric mixture on high for one minute or until fluffy and, and then scrape. So we're gonna put it on three, cause that's like um, high. All right, so now it's about done. So we're gonna set this off to the side. So now we have to scrape the edges 
because most of it just kept flinging. So we try to get that off. Okay. And now we yeah, we scraped and now we will add mix the frosting and exactly one teaspoon of water. So first we'll add this. Oh no, already. Alright. Get that out of the way and now the frosting. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. This is very chocolatey, which is delicious. All right. I think it'll be good. And now we can mix that. I'm just going to mix it with this. Oh boy, I just spilled. My parents are gonna be mad that I just spilled that everywhere. Okay, doesn't really look like it's coming together, which is kind of weird. But who knows? Kind of push down the butter a little, get it everywhere, make sure that everything get everything gets in, because right now only this looks like fun. All right, so now we're gonna use the mixer again for how long again? Can't remember. We're gonna use the mixer for on high for two minutes. So, so chocolate again. Alright, so now we're done making this. I'm gonna scrape this off so then we get all of our goodness. And then we can pop up the cake, which will be fun. So hopefully, we got all of it off of here. And then the chocolate looks so good. Alright, so let's set this off to the side and this off to the side. And we'll grab our cake. Alright, so here's our cake. It sat for about 15 minutes, a little bit more. So now we get to do the same part. Oh. There we go. Alright, so now that little piece is on the bottom, so then it will um like cut easy kind of, and then you won't get it this straight on the bottom. So we're gonna grab our spatula. And so we're gonna grab some of the frosting and we'll spread it on here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This looks really good. I'm no cake perfectionist, except I kind of am. All right, go with this. How about we get some more? Alright, and now I'm going to add some sprinkles. Now this is optional if you don't have any sprinkles, 
you don't have to go buy sprinkles also, but we wanted to add some. So, I have to try not to get it dirty. Okay. Come on, get out. I don't like too many sprinkles, but sprinkles are good. Some people just overdose it with sprinkles, which is kind of crazy. All right, that looks good with a ton of chocolate. Even more chocolate now. And bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.